His disappearance from public view fueled so much speculation and rumor. And now Governor Gavin Newsom faces the media here in Southern California for the first time in two weeks. We're live. Then BET host Terrace Jenkins becomes the latest victim of a frightening rash of follow home robbers. We're live with a spray of bullets on the streets of Sherman Oaks. Then Kyle Rittenhouse breaks down and sobs on the stand as he testifies in his own defense. The News at Noon starts right now. Now, this is the Fox 11 News at Noon. And good afternoon. Welcome to the Fox 11 News at Noon. Thanks for being with us. I'm Bob DeCastro. Thursday, November 10th. I'm Marlo Tejas. Governor Gavin Newsom, he is in town today. He's visiting a COVID-19 vaccine and flu shot clinic. The governor is making himself available to the press after two weeks of silence. Alex Michelson is live in West L.A. He spoke with the governor with the very latest. Alex. I have Bob and Marla. The governor remains here on the VA campus in West LA just one day before Veterans Day, talking with folks here about vaccinations, also talking about homelessness. Let's show you some video. It's the first press conference the governor has held since October 27th, coming in with Senator Alex Padilla as well. Uh, this is. Uh, the first time that he's talked in depth about where he's been uh, after he got his COVID-19 vaccine, uh, he said that he had family obligations and he ended up canceling a trip to Scotland for the big climate change conference. He didn't elaborate what family obligations meant at the time. Yesterday, he said he ended up spending Halloween at home with his kids. His kids wanted him to be there. But I asked him about maybe if there could have been a little more clarity. Take a listen. I think there's a lot of parents that could totally relate to what you said about